She's got like a baby. She's this upside down. Got some size. Wow. Yeah, that's why I call her Viper. Wow. Amelia's from the north, you yeah. know. Oh, that's what I figured. Yeah, because this didn't look like a Florida. We might. Florida pair. I might not stick this on. Either. Okay, so what I need to do is I need someone to put a, a hood on. Person. This bird. Person. Try to put a hood on. Yep. Guess it'll even fit her. Yeah. That's the big. This. This thing fits Indy. Trust me, it'll fit her. This bird came from Florida. It was a captive hatched eaglet. And the parents are probably from the north because she is a large bird. She's pretty large. I'm clear. 41. 41? Yeah. Okay. Can you tuck the head? I got the wings. Okay. 41 what? 4,100 grams. Okay, so how, how much is 4. that in pounds? 4.1 kilos. 4.1 kilograms. That's 8 pounds. Almost 9 pounds. 9 pounds. Yeah. Almost 9 pounds. Wow. Almost she is a big pounds. bird. I fed her a lot when she was in there. Yeah. Okay. It is 40... 42? Sweet. Sure. Oh, 44, sorry. Is that right? It's like 40... 40. Close to beat. Perfect. I have to take my tracker stuff. 36. I'm up there. A little bit more. Just pop it in and then we wedge it afterwards. That's probably actually good, anyways. I had to do pink. Michelle's hands are faster. You gotta, you gotta have your shutter speed going. Oh, it's a big birdie, see? Yeah. I always, I always think I was though, like, if he loses a feather, you know, if he loses a oh, feather and it slides I up. went this way and it just looked like there's there's so much room here because yeah. it's a big bird. I think it's always best to start right at that elbow. Go oh, one in. Yeah. I did. I went, Gosh, well, you go three in. in. Okay. Yeah, that's probably better. You go three in. I know. That's probably better. Teresa. There we go. All right. Got it. That's done. So, L6. Hmm. Florida. The first one gets F, the second one gets L. The third one, if we ever get one. <laughs> so we're looking for the middle tail feather to put a transmitter on. GPS tracking device. This is our second year oh, for GPS. This allows us to track him to the exact GPS coordinates. It's really nice. Type of transmit. Something he could get in something, and it could get wrapped well, around these. So far, it didn't last year. At least not that we found. Well, we don't know that we found. Well, one of our eyes is still out there flying around. He probably dropped the tail feather already. Clicked in here. No. So this little device is actually uh, meant to be put on a dog on their collar to help locate. Battery lasts um, anywhere from 8 to 10 days, so it'll let us locate him GPS-wise um, and make sure that he's moving around, and then it'll fall off when the tail feather shed. So. You don't have to make it permanent. You can just, the way she had it, you can just click the bait. So I want to get a picture with John real quick. One, two, three. Oh, sure. Three. Look at the eagle, John. Look at the eagle. Oh, I'm he's he's looking at me like lunch. Here's my lunch. <laughs> Hold a second. Oh, that's nice. Two, three. Why does his breath smell like fish? Let me move for a second. Mm -hmm. One, two, oh, three. Put her on. Okay. Now, John, come over here. We're going to let you assist in putting the band on. Yeah. Not a very good picture from there, Julia. I'm doing an aerial shot. You need shot. to get on that side. Okay, so I'm going to do now. Hey okay, John, we're going to pull this together and then we're going to show you what to do, okay? Okay. That looks fairly close. Okay, I need you to take these needle nose. Yep. But I need the hole. 
to be able to still get to the hole. I'm getting them in the shot too. Got it. Okay. One more. Dark, but we can maybe lighten it up. All right. Okay. There's the band. Cool. Good job. Uh, all right, back into the this. Like 4.1. John, you want to do the honor of opening the door? All right, John, you go in first and go in that corner over there. Okay. Excellent. And then we're going to have to get out of here quick. Yeah, get on the other side of the door. There we go. Right there. Okay, here we go. All right, heads up down there. Don't get too close to the ground. It might unfold. Big bird. Big bird. Isn't that a big bird? Yeah. This is your video, so make it good. <laughs> Song and dance, everything, yeah. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this day. We thank you for this time together. We just, uh, we're grateful that we can release this eaglet into the wild, and, and we just ask that you uh, watch over it and uh, give it a long life. We thank you for the good weather. We also lift up John and his wife, Cindy. Uh, we just ask that you... Uh, uh, protect them and bless their life and Lord they're going to be moving soon uh, to, to go visit uh, or to live with their uh, Cindy's son and uh, we just ask that uh, you bless their life up there up north and oh we're just so grateful for the opportunity to do this and to recognize our, our volunteer John who's helped us out many times with his great photography and other things and with the birds and we just thank you for him putting him in our life and we just ask that you continue to bless him wherever he goes, Heavenly Father, and, and keep him safe, as well as Cindy, of course. And uh, we just uh, ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Okay, I think Julia is going to sing a song that was requested by John. Come on in here, Julia. I got that. Fly like an eagle. Amen. I'm just kidding. <laughs> keep it up. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now <coughs> I'm found, was blind. But now I see T'was grace that taught my heart to fear And grace my fears relieved How precious did that grace the hour I first believed. I'm sure John requested that song because he loves that song, but I think he also requested it to honor many of the buddies that he served with in Vietnam. And uh, some are, that are still with us and others that aren't. And, uh, <laughs> John's got something he wants to read and something he wants to say, so we're going to let him say something. Um, <clears throat> I chose the name Invictus, which uh, I just figured we could call her Vic, but but Invictus is uh, from a poem written by a British author, kind of a one-hit wonder actually, in 1875. Yeah. Uh, but the last two lines are <clears throat> how I feel about these birds, so I'm going to read it. Invictus stands for it's uh, Latin for unconquerable. Hmm. Out of the night that covers me, black as the pit from pole to pole, I thank that my God that made me for my unconquerable soul. 
It matters not how straight the gate, how charged with punishments the scroll. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. Nice. And um, <laughs> I just want to thank all you guys. I don't know how long we'll be here. The way we're going, we'll be here forever. <laughs> uh, but I love the Eagle Foundation. I love being there. I love all you guys. And <clears throat> I'm going to miss it a lot. So I'll come back to haunt you periodically. <laughs> <laughs> but it's been a blessing for me. Um, when I <coughs> first met Terry Sherrod, and uh, we were talking, and he said, well, you should go to the Eagle Foundation. And I said, what's that? <laughs> And he explained it to me, and he said, they're probably looking for volunteers. And so I went over, and as a photographer, primarily wildlife, um, I thought I'd died and gone to heaven when I had the opportunity to work with these birds. So and I appreciate all you people. And we're, we're very appreciative of all the photography that you've done, not only for our birds at the facility, but in following uh, Lady Independence and uh, Sir Hatcher's nest and Air Young. You know, our very first successful nest from an eaglet that we released into the wild, you know, that was produced by uh, Independence and Franklin. And it's just, that was a highlight to have those pictures. Yeah. And you're the guy that got those pictures. And, we'll, and it's we'll kind all, of they'll, a, they'll always be, we'll always treasure them. You know, and it, I know the Hatcher family che treasures them too, so. It's a passion slash obsession, those two birds, as Cindy can attest. Because <laughs> she'll call me, where are you? I'm at the nest. Well, of course you are. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it, it's, it's just remarkable that we have a, a released eagle that came back. And this year will be 10 eaglets. eaglets. Um, one of them is still with us. But um, it's remarkable. So, so every, thank you, everybody, for your hard work and dedication. See, it pays off on on projects like that. And this this project right here. So now we're gonna release this eaglet. It's a female, we believe, because she's so big, and she was hatched at the Wildlife Sanctuary of Florida uh, by some produced by some parents that were non-releasable there that live at the Wildlife Sanctuary of Florida. We believe that they might be northern parents because of the size of this female. But uh, we're going to let John and his, his wife, uh, Cindy, pull the rope and release this eaglet into the wild. And if you want anybody else to join you, you just call on their names and they can be with there with you. Everybody ready down there? Keep it up. Good. All right. Amazing grace, how sweet. The sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. It was grace that taught my heart to fear And grace my fears relieved How precious did that grace appear In the hour I first believe. I'm sure John requested that song because he loves that song, but I think he also requested it to honor many of the buddies that he served with in Vietnam, and uh, some are, that are still with us and others that aren't.